So today I'm showing you guys a controller that's completely different to anything else we've seen. The controller we're looking at today is actually this. While it looks like a knuckle duster from the future, it is actually a controller from the present. It's a controller that you control using the taps of your fingers. Now it can be used as both a keyboard and a mouse and used in games as well as typing. So the basis behind it is you actually tap to type. So each finger is a vowel. There are other combinations that you can tap and that will press different letters and you've also got a trackpad on the bottom there so you can stick that on a surface and use it as a mouse so of course this video is sponsored by tap they've sent me the tap device and asked me to review it for you guys now when it comes to using the tap device there is a little bit of a learning curve but the company estimate the average person will be sufficient within one hour and personally I did find this to be true with myself in my opinion it is actually one of the greatest achievements of this that they've made the learning curve both enjoyable and easy to do. There's an app on your phone which is Tap Genius on iOS and Tap Tutor on Android and these take you through step by step learning the letters and the different gestures and the way this works is they teach you how to do them then the letters drop down the screen and you just press them before they get to the bottom. So you start off with the vowels which is just each finger so you press each finger down for the corresponding vowels. Next is NTLS and these are both two fingers at the same time we then move on to dmz which are two fingers but with a gap in the middle and then it takes you through the rest of the letters and while it sounds like it may be quite hard to do they've done a great job at deciding the right gestures for the right letters and the more you use it the more comfortable you feel and it's sort of like learning a new language but with the help of the app it makes it nice and comfortable so i actually found within about 10 minutes of using this i was a little nervous and it seemed like it was going to be very hard to learn but within 30 minutes I'd sort of learned all the letters and I was just getting used to typing them within 16 minutes I was typing 18 to 20 words per minute and I was making a few mistakes but I knew all the letters and it was just a case of getting used to the muscle memory and getting them right every time so another thing to mention here is that some finger combinations may be hard for people to press and they have actually taken this into account and given you alternatives for me Q was very hard and I spent spent quite a while trying to do the correct gesture but I could never get the hang of it. Luckily because I couldn't get the hang of it I can double tap my ring finger instead of making the gesture for Q and although I was reluctant to use the shortcut gestures at first because I thought it would slow me down in reality I found that it didn't and it was much easier for me to do. So Tap Genius is on iOS and Tap Tutor is on Android. These are the apps that take you through the learning then they have two final challenges to really help you improve your speed so the first challenge is endless mode and this is where words continually drop down the screen you have to type them in before the words hit the bottom you've got a certain amount of lives when you run out of lives the game is over the next mode we've got is the speed challenge and this is where it gives you sentences to type so you just type them out as fast as you can when you've finished it displays your word per minute and both of these modes are great for improving both your tap speed and your accuracy not pressing the wrong things there are also games that can be played and this is tap bunny tap chase and tap loops and this can be another fun way to learn how to use your tap so what is this tap keyboard actually for well tap is actually designed to be a method of discrete text input for mobile and wearable devices when you're out and about instead of using voice commands you tap with one hand instead so the idea here is that you can tap and have a mouse wherever you are with one hand I also see this being a great use in the future in the world of VR and AR where of course you cannot look at a keyboard so if you can type things out with your hand without needing to look it does make it very useful. During my experience with tap it did work very well on hard surfaces but when I did try softer surfaces like my leg it did struggle a lot more. It was quite often displaying the wrong letters than the actual gesture I was making so I'm hoping that this is something that they can improve on in the future with some firmware updates. I also to use the tap keyboard on my PC where it also worked very well and of course you can use it as a mouse and a keyboard at the same time. I did have a go at using it with gaming as well and it did work when it came to gaming but of course I would have been better off using an actual mouse and just general use on the computer for both mouse and typing it did actually work very well. One thing I liked is because it registers tap of course you cannot click and hold but again they've thought of this so you can press your middle finger 
your ring finger at the same time and this will click and hold for you you can then drag if it's a file you can drag it wherever you want and press the left click to drop it in terms of comfort the tap is very comfortable there's an adjustable strap so you can adjust it to how you need it and I didn't find it too uncomfortable after extended periods of use now the tap device itself connects to your device via Bluetooth and it currently supports Android iOS Windows and Mac the tap device has a built-in battery which charges when you place it inside the case and the case is charged via micro USB cable the strap itself has an eight hour battery life and it takes two hours to fully charge the charging case allows up to 64 hours of use and takes four hours to fully charge the case if we look at the hardware in the tap it has a Bluetooth antenna it has five different three axis accelerometers it's got an optical laser mouse and a vibration motor in there as well so my overall thoughts and experiences with the device are that it does work very well and it does exactly what it's supposed to my type speed is now at about 30 words per minute and it's still increasing steadily it is however a bit of a niche product so it's not going to be useful for everyone and as I said earlier I do think it has a lot of potential in the VR and the AR world it will also be great for discrete typing if they could just iron out the problems I've been experiencing this is a new product though so I do have high hopes and I hope they can figure those out now the tap actually comes in two different sizes and there's a measurement guide on the website that will let you know which one you need to pick and for anyone that does want to purchase this product or just look at some further information I've placed links down in the description below that will take you to the tap with us page plenty of information on there as well as some additional videos but as always if you do have any problems any questions at all leave them down in the comments below and I get back to you as soon as I can but thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel